Debbie Patterson, Instinct Magazine. Hi, Matt. Oh, Hallie, John. How are y'all doing today? Wonderful. How are you? How are you? Hi. I'm well, thank you. So tell me, how excited are y'all for season two of Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock to, to premiere? Beyond <laughs> excited. <laughs> We're very, very excited. <laughs> we, I was going to say, we, we always say it's like it's like having this great like Christmas gift under the tree and we're like waiting and waiting and waiting because we know what's inside of it and we know what is, people, how people are going to react and we can't wait for everyone to like open it up and, and see it for, for themselves. It's been like a year of waiting, so it's very exciting. And we've seen a yeah. lot of like remakes, reboots coming out, but we're like, this is the one. Like if there's ever <laughs> yeah. one to like check out, it's the Fraggle Rock uh, season two reboot. Yes. Awesome. So without giving too much away, what can we expect from this new batch of episodes? Matt. Bigger, bigger, <laughs> bigger adventure, bigger <laughs> comedy, big, big, huge, uh, huge musical guests. We have we have Ariana DeBose. We have uh, K-pop band Espo. We have Adam Lambert, uh, Catherine O'Hara. Uh, Brett Goldstein, the Diggs. Diggs, of course, and just huge adventures. And it kind of feels like off of season one, we learned what we could do and we leaned into it a lot and learned, learned where the funny nuances and the silliness really, really lied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I mean, Fraggle Rock originally aired in the 80s. How did the idea for a, a reboot initially come about? Well, well, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah it definitely. You know, it was. It took place in a meeting with Apple TV, where um, they were talking about. We, we were talking about Hope Punk, and I was saying, you know, there's a lot of shows out there that I love, but I'm not sure I'd want to live there or be there. I don't necessarily want to live in the world of The Walking Dead, even though I love it. And we talked about what would be a wonderful world to live in. And Jamie Ehrlich and Tara Sorensen at Apple TV said, "What about Fraggle Rock?" So, okay. you know, it was so exciting for us to hear that. We were like, yes, what about Fraggle Rock? We met them, you know, you know, in the middle. And uh, and that's how it started. That's how the reboot started and in the room. we've been talking for years because we are oh, the, well, biggest the biggest Fraggle nerds. fans ever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we always talk about how it's a show that, you know, both kind of got us started in this business. Yes. And so yeah. literally the minute that... <laughs> Holly came back from that meeting. We were like, <gasps> it was like, it was like the world had started again. We were so excited. And you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And I feel like the world needed Fraggles, right? Like the world yeah. needed Fraggle Rock. It needed hope. It needed to come together and connect. And really, the minute that they said yes, the world shut down. Uh, with the of course, pandemic. it always happens that way. But then <laughs> it it gave us all agency. It brought us all together. We were all like on Zoom every day until the first <laughs> season premiered, and actually the second one. But yeah. um, we made the first season during during the height of the pandemic, and and what's really funny is like how he's saying everything shutting down made us also really focus in on what are the things that matter in life. And that's mm -hmm. what Fraggle Rock is all about. So it really kind of like distilled down, like this is why we need this show right now is to remind everybody of the important things in life and how connected we really all are. And to have fun, mm -hmm. fun to play. You mean, dance your cares away, you know, be in the moment, be joyful, reminding families to have fun together. Mm -hmm, so definitely, I, for sure. Another big part of Fraggle Rock. Awesome. And even though I, I don't want to say it's not as, they're not as popular, but they may not be as well known as the Muppets or the Sesame yeah. Street. Were you uh, uh, surprised by the positive response that audiences were giving to Fraggle Rock reboot? Oh, yeah. I mean, we were we were thrilled because those of us who are fans, of course, know it and love it. Yeah. When the mm -hmm. first season premiered, the, how viral it went and people's reactions. I mean, I've never had more people like on Instagram just like bombard me with messages saying, the Fraggles, <laughs> you're part of Fraggle Rock. I think, I think it's the show that was the cool show if you knew in the 80s. But it was kind of a seat, like a top secret cool kids show. And now our mission and our, and thank goodness for Apple TV Plus, because they are all over the world, it instantly now is available to everybody at once. And, and everyone can be part of the cool kids club now. So that's, that's been really wonderful to see how much further it can go now in this iteration of it. Yeah, and with mm -hmm. season two, we've had a trailer release of um, uh, ESPA. K-pop mm. band with Uncle Traveling Mad. You know, we tried to, one of our goals was to get more out into the world and, you know, really um, celebrate our international uh, viewers. And it has already gotten over, at the trailer of the music video, 6 million views. That wow. blew us all away. Yeah. We were all blown away by the love and excitement 
of the franchise coming out. So anyway, I think we're constantly excited and surprised at the fan response. And being the lesser, being the lesser known, as you put it, uh, it really kind of felt like a little bit of an advantage mm -hmm. to us. We're like, oh my God, we yeah. have so much people's expectations. People don't necessarily have expectations for the Frials, but we know what we have here and, and we can really go nuts with it. So it was, it was very exciting to share it with the world the first time around and even more exciting this time. Yeah, and I'm going to shine a spotlight on Matt and Alex Cuperson, his partner, is that they honored the essence of the characters, but they took them to a whole nother level in terms of comedy, right? They were like, okay, let's like now make these characters feel like the BFFs and get them to a level where they, each one has their own com comedic voice and so really elevated those characters. Well, I'm going to throw it then to Johnny okay. because like these performers, Johnny who plays Gobo and all of... All, you can speak to the other puppeteers, but they're all so talented and so funny that yeah. it is just such an, an enormous collaboration. Sure. I mean, we we you have this legacy of character to start with, and then we get to build on top of that. And I think having the best writers and the best writing to do that with is what makes it work. And and also just, you know, always keeping in mind that, you know, these characters are a way for us to have fun and be silly and exemplify some kind of, you know, tough life things for kids and, and make it accessible to them. So, um, I don't know, it's the greatest honor in the world to play to play a Fraggle. That's like, who, yeah. who gets to say that? It's the greatest <laughs> gift ever. Who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to be a Fraggle? Seriously. Who would, yeah. <laughs> so how would you say Fraggle Rock um, caters to LGBTQ plus audiences? Well, we definitely keep that in mind. I mean, I'm, as a gay man, you know, of course, it's the, the show for me, the original series, I always felt included. I always say it was a place I felt safe watching Fraggle Rock. I felt like the message of the show was everyone's welcome, everyone's invited, everyone has value, everyone's story matters. I mean, you know, that that for me growing up was very powerful and life-changing. And it's a, it's a reason why I think I've always loved the show so much. And I think, you know, with with the the reboot, we really wanted to make sure that that sense of inclusion and that sense of diversity and that sense of uh, of family and, and welcome, chosen family and welcomeness is always there. Um, yeah. And that isn't definitely is in, in some of our messaging for sure. You know, we, we have a- And off camera. Yeah. And off camera, that's right. Yeah, it's a place, you know, we, we work- Everything from our cast and crew to the writer's room on every level. Yeah, we worked really hard to make sure that like every voice was heard and, you know, it's 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 the greatest compliment in the world is when people come on the set and they say, you know, everyone looks like they're having the best time and that everyone feels like they're welcome. And I think that again, yeah. that that came from Jim and that came from the original spirit of the original series. For sure, definitely, that's awesome. So my last question to y'all is, there has been talks of a Fraggle Rock movie for years now, <laughs> any, any update with that? update i mean that is our hope and dream right like so you know we're hoping season three season four a movie specials let's keep it going come on fans I guess we take over the world we, yes, have, we exactly. have no shortage of ideas for the yeah, we're, yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. For sure. we're ready yeah <laughs> we're ready when you are <laughs> we're ready we are ready awesome <laughs> well matt hallie john thank you so much for your time it was a pleasure thank, thank you. you thank Very you much. take care nice to talk to you thank you bye-bye